that wall so hard, I thought they were going to come through the wall. The story comes to us from the denverchannel.com. An attorney claims an Idaho Springs police officer tased, kicked, tackled, punched, and choked an unarmed and unclothed 75-year-old man in his apartment, leaving him in the hospital struggling to survive. No, no, no. I'm here. I'm Tim. This is Brittany. That was the neighbor right there. Yeah. What's it called? Wait, wait. This is Brittany. Okay. She's the one that got hit. I'm, I live here. This is my yeah, friend Brittany. There, there. And then this is my neighbor that hit her. I wasn't even here. I was outside. Okay. She's on the phone to dispatch it. Wait, which one? Okay. Which? Okay. This All right. Thank right you. Here is what she um, said. Okay. Well, like I said, I wasn't in here. I literally he just saw He banged you. on the door, like, or through the wall. Bam, 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 and I'm sleeping. Shut the fuck up! And so I like came out and was like, "What? What's going on?" Uh-huh. He wasn't here. Dog wasn't here. Okay, and then what's going on? I came out and I was like, "What's going on?" Right to the fucking mouth. Okay. Okay. Which room was he in? I don't know. Right there, possibly. Okay. okay. What did he look like? He is an older man. I, I honestly don't know. When you get knocked the fuck out, you don't really. We just moved into the restroom. Okay. When did this happen? 20 minutes, 15. I, like, I called. Not I even. Had, yeah, not even. I called, like, I walked in the door <laughs> and. Uh, he busted all of my shit. My nose, my mouth. Okay. All I, yeah, I want, like, all I want to do is like, here. hey, was what, was, what was disturbing you? And he was like, shut the fuck up. Boom. Was he white, black? Hispanic? He's white. Does he have hair? Yeah. He bald? So gray that, hair? Yeah, gray hair. He's an older guy. He's maybe about this tall. Okay. That, and that guy lives right there in that room. And that's where the wall would be. And he was seen him bang, before. bang, bang. That's so, what woke me him. up. We just, I, we just moved in here yesterday, but I saw him like yes, last night or night before. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna put my dog in the bathroom, okay? Okay. What do you want? What the fuck? What the fuck's going on over there? Put it down, motherfucker! Put it down! Put it down! Get Get on the ground now! Get out here right now! Get out here! Get on the ground! No! They hit that wall so hard, I thought they were gonna come through the wall. Sir, 
Sir, sir, sir, talk to us. Talk to me, talk to me. Sir, talk to me. Sir. I, I got him. Okay, stay on your side. Stay on your side. Stay on your side. I'm, I'm police. I'm the police. Stay on your side. I, I understand. I understand. I understand, sir. I. I. Stay on your side. Stay on your side. That must be a big party. Okay. Do you remember anything that happened? I don't know, but I was playing there. It was okay. a big bang on the wall. And uh, it nearly it moved my bed and nearly killed the feet. And then okay. I pound on the wall okay. until I knock it off. And I was doing nothing except playing there sleeping. Okay. And and I'll go they talk were, to her. Okay. And they were banging on the wall. I mean, Are you loud. Good? Are you okay? Yeah. And I thought it was them going after me. Hey. Hey. Hey, my name's Ellie. Great. How can I help you? What's going on? She's been drinking. Okay, I get that. And that part makes sense. It doesn't even matter. That's my own fucking thing. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, no, that's fine. When I have somebody banging on the wall and then fucking punch me in my fucking face. Right. Because I ask him, is that's, there, am I being too loud? That's why we're here. That's I'm here for you. We're here for you. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Oh. What, what's your name again? What's your name again? Brittany. Brittany, my name's Ellie, okay? You're okay. You're okay. All right? Are you okay? You're upset, I get that, but are you okay? No? What can I help you with? What can I help you with? <laughs> What I want, the men know it's totally illegal, but I want to kick the living fuck out of him. Okay, well. And I walked away like a dignified human being and came in here and I tried calling him and was like, I just got fucking knocked the fuck out. Okay. You're safe now. Things are okay. I know, I know it doesn't necessarily like make it all better. Okay, but we're here. Sarah Schilke with the Life and Liberty Law Office said a lawsuit is forthcoming after two press releases were issued Thursday by the Idaho Springs Police Department and 5th Judicial District Attorney's Office. Following an investigation, an arrest warrant was issued for a charge of third-degree assault of an at-risk adult, which is a Class 6 felony, against Officer Nicholas Hanning, 35. Idaho Springs Police Department released body cam images of an officer tasing a 75-year-old man inside his apartment. Officer Nicholas Hanning is charged with assault on an at-risk adult, a Class 6 felony. Hanning says Michael Clark refused to drop a sword-like weapon. Newly released images show Clark put down the weapon before he was tased. Clark's lawyers say Hanning also choked, kicked, and punched him, causing heart complications, a stroke, surgery, and a burst appendix. Michael Clark's lawyer describes him as a loving father and grandfather, a retired railroad worker who moved to Idaho Springs less than a year ago. He loves to gold pan. He loves to go fishing. Um, he loves walking. He's a Freemason. And he um, is the type of guy who goes into the diner and they know as usual. Sarah Schelke, Clark's attorney, also now describes him as a victim of police brutality. It just makes no sense. Officers were responding to reports a man punched his female neighbor in the face. The taser hit Clark in his abdomen and pelvis area. He fell backward, hit a dining room chair, then fell to the ground unconscious. On May 30th, Idaho Springs police officer Nicholas Hanning responded to a call for an assault at an apartment building. 
Michael Clark was accused of punching a neighbor in the face. Clark denies that ever happened. He does, and he has always. It's He's been very consistent. The whole community and everybody who knows Michael Clark has been so devastated by this. According to court documents released on Tuesday, Officer Hanning knocked on Clark's door without announcing that he was a police officer. Clark answered with a small sword in his hand, not knowing, he says, who was at the door. When ordered by Hanning, he put the sword down on top of a bookshelf. But 19 seconds later, after Clark refused Officer Hanning's order to get on the ground, Hanning shot Clark in the stomach with his taser without warning. 19 seconds is on another planet in terms of the amount of time that police officers have to think to hesitate and to not do undue harm to the civilians that they're supposed to be protecting. It was clearly unnecessary. After being tased, Clark collapsed, hitting his head on a chair on the way down. He was taken to a hospital for treatment. 36 hours later, according to his lawyer, he suffered a stroke and is now in a 24-hour skilled nursing care facility. Officer Hanning is now out on bond. He's a three-year veteran of the Idaho Springs Police Department. The department says they're currently evaluating his employment status. Now, Clark was never charged with the crime. A press release published by Clark's attorney, Sarah Schickel, Schilke, with the Life and Liberty Law Office, claims that Clark remains in the hospital and in poor health, and his children and grandchildren want answers. So the press release reads, what good are body cameras if, while withholding the videos, the police and prosecutors issue their own misleading propaganda in an effort to prime the public to believe the victim was some sort of sociopath or some kind of person who deserved it. It also claims that Clark answered his door that evening holding a sword because he feared for his life after hearing unknown individuals banging on his door and not identifying themselves. Remember, he's an elderly man. While the Idaho Springs Police Department said Officer Hanning has not had any prior complaints related to use of force with the department, the press release says he broke the rib of a 71-year-old in 2013 while he was employed by the Park County Sheriff's Office. Now, the police department is not releasing the body camera footage because there's an investigation going on. They're not going to release that body camera footage. It paints him in a bad light. Um, but I love what the Idaho Springs Police Department said. Well, he doesn't have any prior complaints with this department. Yeah, but allegedly with another department, he broke the ribs of a 71-year-old. Um, that was alleged in 2013. I mean, so and it kind of makes sense. I mean, this guy has issues with elderly people, or maybe he's just a bully. And he can pick on the old. I don't know. But uh, they're not releasing body camera footage. They're like, mm -mm -mm, we're not going to let you guys see what's going on. And it's weird that the DA agreed with the motion. How did the DA agree with that motion? Protecting the cop.